the play here. Get on anymore. I'm winding down. And to the Kupo. On the feed. It's good. At the buzzer. It's over. The Bucks have done it. The long wait has ended after a half century. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions once again. It's one of the unlikeliest stories in NBA history. My name is uh, Jansen Lukumbo. An international rags to riches tale, too unbelievable to script. Phoenix has to foul, and a pinnacle ball throws it down! And a foul! From the streets of Athens to the top of the basketball world. This is the story behind Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo was born in Athens to Nigerian immigrants who had arrived from Lagos only a few years earlier. Giannis was one of five boys in the family, with oldest brother Francis still in Nigeria at the time, older brother Thanasis with him in Greece, as well as younger brothers Costas and Alexis. Money was tight for the immigrant family. So much so that Giannis and Thanasis pitched in by selling trinkets and DVDs on the streets of Athens. We had a lot of money, but we had a lot of uh, happiness. So it wasn't broken uh, happiness-wise. You know, when we were struggling back in the day, we were all together in one room, same room. We were having fun, we were smiling. It didn't help that he was essentially stateless. As is the case in many European countries, because neither of Giannis's parents were Greek by blood, the brothers couldn't become citizens until they were 18 years old despite the fact they were born and raised in Greece. Giannis also wasn't a Nigerian citizen though, and without papers from either country, the eventual basketball phenom couldn't travel abroad until he was an adult. Domestically, after originally playing soccer just like his father and oldest brother did in Nigeria, a teenage Giannis' size and length drew the attention of scouts almost the second he took a basketball court for the first time back in 2008. Within four years, the 17-year-old was playing semi-professionally for Philathletikos in the Greek third division. The club would become a family staple, as Thanasis joined Giannis on the senior team while Kostas and Alex suited up for the junior side. Fame and fortune were still years away, however, and earning less than $500 a month with Philathletikos, Giannis and Thanasis famously shared a pair of shoes one game, swapping the kicks when the brothers would sub in and out. With the Atentacumpos in the fold, Philathletikos was promoted to the Greek A2 division, and in Giannis' first full pro campaign in 2012-13, he nearly helped drag the club to the top flight of Greek basketball, ultimately falling short in a double overtime heartbreaker that would have sent Phil Atletico's to the top division. Though he signed a four-year contract with Spanish club Zaragoza in the middle of that 2012-13 season, European basketball would no longer be of consequence to Giannis, as the newly minted Greek citizen was already on NBA radars. I want to be NBA. NBA player. Anybody in the NBA that you like to watch and maybe emulate? I like Magic Johnson and uh, Kevin Durant. Though he was still a relative unknown to the basketball world at large, pro scouts were salivating. And less than six years after he first picked up a basketball, Antetokounmpo heard his name called midway through the NBA draft's first round. With the 15th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Giannis Adetokounmpo from Athens, Greece. He last played for Phil Atletikos in Greece. With rookie averages of roughly 7 points, 4 rebounds, and a couple assists on inefficient shooting, Giannis' production wasn't exactly blowing anyone away early in his NBA career. But the signs of a future do-it-all star were there if you looked closely enough. And the Greek freak was rewarded with an all-rookie second team selection. Gets up, it's no good. Jam down by the alphabet! Giannis sneaks in the back door. Quick side note here, can we acknowledge how much better a nickname Greek Freak is than the alphabet? Anyway, while Giannis' game was starting to do a little talking on the court, NBA fans everywhere were falling in love with the teenager's wide-eyed, almost aloof attitude toward being a real-life NBAer off of it. At one point during that rookie campaign, with his credit card not working, 
and having spent all of his money at the time sending funds back home to his family through a Western Union, Giannis caught a ride to a Bucks home game with a couple of fans who had spotted him running to the arena. By the end of that debut campaign, the entire Atetokounmpo family, save for Francis and Thanasis, joined Giannis in Milwaukee. His early numbers in a 15-win season may not have been the stuff of legend, but Giannis always had the vision, the talent, and the work ethic to see it through. These guys that are legends because the number retired maybe 15 years, 20 years, maybe my number is up there. The breakthrough began in Atetokounmpo's sophomore season. As under the watchful eye of new coach Jason Kidd, the 2014-15 Bucks nearly tripled their win total from the previous year, going from 15 and 67 cellar dweller to a 41 and 41 playoff team, with Giannis upping his averages to nearly 13 points, seven rebounds, and three assists in over 31 minutes per game. Kidd had seen enough to become a believer, and he put the ball in Giannis's hands for the Greek Freak's third season. With Point Giannis and Chris Middleton emerging as Milwaukee's leaders, the Bucks took a step back, winning only 33 games. But the foundation had been laid for Giannis's future as a positionless, two-way destroyer. After fulfilling his mandatory military service in the summer of 2016, to a nation that had only granted him citizenship three years earlier, Antetokounmpo arrived back in Milwaukee for season number four on a whole nother level. The second half of the third quarter after intermission, take by Giannis. Look out, baby. Defensive hands. He's gone. Watch this now. How am I going to do it? <laughs> Picked Cousins, who ended up on the seat of his pants and had to watch this from the other end. The then 22-year-old, fresh off a four-year, $100 million extension, exploded for averages of 22.9 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 5.4 assists, 1.9 blocks, and 1.6 steals on 52% shooting, leading Milwaukee to its first winning season in seven years. For his efforts, Giannis earned his first All-Star, All-NBA, and All-Defensive Team selections, while taking home the league's most improved player award. We can't just be calling him the Greek Freak anymore. I think it's a disservice unless we call him by his full name. So would you? No, no, no. Giannis, Giannis. Come on, you can do yeah, it. No, okay. yeah, he's, he's like Elvis. He go by one name. Oh, yes, yes, to be honest. Hey, Lane. Oh, yeah, you can say it, Chuck. One time. One time. Kapumpo. Uh, okay. <laughs> For the record, that name, which pundits like Barkley still make a mockery of, was actually slightly changed when Giannis became a Greek citizen. The way we know it, and the way we see it on his now legendary jersey, is actually the Greek transcription of his family's Nigerian surname. The meaning of those roots only multiplied when Giannis and his family lost father Charles to a heart attack in September of 2017. Back on the court, the MIP continued his rise towards fulfilling Kobe Bryant's MVP prophecy, earning another All-Star start and All-NBA selection while continuing to post prolific numbers during the 2017-18 campaign. Though the Bucks upped their win total from the previous season, Milwaukee slid from 6th to 7th in the Eastern Conference and fell to Boston in a seven-game first-round series, a year after falling to Toronto in six games, and three years after falling in the same fashion to Chicago. Giannis may have been establishing himself as a star, but through five seasons in Milwaukee, he had yet to be part of even a 45-win team, and the Bucks hadn't won a playoff series since 2001. The true transformation was about to begin, however. 2015 Coach of the Year Mike Budenholzer replaced Kidd during the 2018 offseason. Brooke Lopez was added to the existing core of Antetokounmpo, Middleton, Eric Bledsoe, and Malcolm Brogdon, and Coach Bud implemented a nearly unstoppable system that surrounded Giannis with shooting. What followed was a stunning 60-win campaign that ended in the NBA's number one overall seed for Milwaukee and an MVP award for Antetokounmpo, whose emotional speech upon winning the award paid tribute to Charles. You know, my dad is not here with me, but... Uh... Two, two years ago, and um, you know, I had to go in my head that I'm going, I'm going to be the best player in the league. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever it takes to help my team win, and I'm going to win the MVP. And uh, every, day, every day that I step on the floor, I always think about my dad, and that motivates me and it pushes me to you know, play hard and move forward. Even though when my body's sore, even though when I I don't feel like playing, I was going to show up and I was going to do the right thing. Though Giannis had reached the individual pinnacle, there was more team heartbreak to come. As in the Eastern Conference Finals, the top-seeded Bucks blew a 2-0 series lead, 
and an overtime lead in Game 3 to Kawhi Leonard's Raptors, who would go on to win the 2019 championship. Making matters worse, Leonard and a stout Toronto defense anchored by Marc Gasol were credited with slowing and solving Antetokounmpo's plan of attack. As every great player before the Greek Freak has learned, there comes a time when a switch is flipped in the court of public perception. And for Giannis, it began following that 2019 collapse. Suddenly, the NBA's international star, media darling, and fan favorite. The prodigy who had endeared himself to even casuals and non-basketball fans when his inspiring story headlined an episode of 60 Minutes was having his game and mindset picked apart. His lack of shooting range and predictable north-south rim runs made it easier for versatile defensive teams like playoff foes Toronto and Miami to build a Greek freak stopping wall. Cutting Giannis off from the rim fatally hampered the Bucks, as his rampaging drives are what helped create open looks for the shooters around him. Never mind that Atetokounmpo needed only two or three strides to get from center court to the paint. To so many fans, pundits, and even players, the reigning MVP lacked a proverbial bag. You know, but I wish I could just run, run and with seven feet and run and just dunk. Like that takes no skill at all. <laughs> it didn't help Giannis's case that as the critics grew louder, his free throw struggles reached comedic proportion. He emerged as one of the greatest defensive talents of his generation, yet was ripped for not demanding the primary assignment on the game's best scorers. Despite the fact he won Defensive Player of the Year in 2020 for his roaming help defense in Budenholzer's scheme, which is built upon that freakish help D. Between the 2018-19 and 2020-2021 seasons, Antetokounmpo averaged 28.4 points, 12.4 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 1.3 blocks, and 1.1 steals on 63% true shooting for a team that averaged 58.5 wins per 82 games, earning two MVP awards, a Defensive Player of the Year title, three straight All-NBA First Team selections, and three consecutive all-defensive first-team knots. By posting a player efficiency rating of 31.9 during the 2019-20 campaign, he also broke Wilt Chamberlain's 47-year-old single-season PER record. Yet Giannis's individual and team failures in the playoffs, where the Raptors and Heat shut him down in the 2019 Conference Finals and 2020 East Semis, respectively, meant he hadn't made believers out of everyone. The Bucks believed, though offering the franchise savior an historic five-year, $228 million extension before the start of the pandemic-shortened 2021 season. In stark contrast to so many of his contemporaries, who wielded the full breadth of their earned superstar power in free agency, holding the league hostage as they entertained prospective suitors, Giannis put pen to paper on the massive extension eight months before ever hitting the open market. He first silenced the small market skeptics who assumed he would catch the first flight out of Milwaukee. And when the 2021 playoffs rolled around, he silenced the doubters who refused to believe there was anything different about him and the Bucks, who had replaced Bledsoe with Drew Holiday before the season. Say what you will about the 2021 Bucks conquering an unprecedented postseason of star injuries or surviving by the length of a Kevin Durant toe. But take nothing away from what Giannis and the Bucks accomplished in delivering Milwaukee its first championship in 50 years. Like it's easy to go somewhere and go and win a championship with somebody else. It's easy. I could go, I, I, I don't put anybody in the spot, but I could go to a super team and, you know, just do my part and win a championship, still one. But this is the hard way to do it and this is the way to do it. And we did it. You also can't talk about 2021 playoff injuries without acknowledging that Giannis himself battled back from a nasty, disturbing knee injury in the conference finals to produce one of the finest finals performances the NBA will ever see. And try to cover that angle for him to score. I thought I'm gonna get that done. Yeah, I was late. Like, I didn't jump to block the ball. Going down the stretch, just do whatever you know it takes to win the game. The Greek freak averaged 35 points, 13 rebounds, and five assists during the six-game triumph over Phoenix, capping his epic championship series with an unforgettable 50-point outburst in the game six clincher. Whether it was dominating the rival Heat in a first round sweep, outlasting Durant in round two, rallying back from a two nothing deficit of their own in the finals, or sinking 17 of his 19 free throws in the championship closeout game, 
and then taking home finals MVP honor. By the end of their cathartic 2021 playoff run, there were no demons left to slay for Giannis and the Bucks. Even the haters can now only marvel at this once in a generation athlete, the modern incarnation of Shaq in the paint, but also a point center who might be the best forward in the game. I'm denouncing my Superman ship and I'm giving it to the Greek fleet. This is era. Through eight seasons in the association, 26-year-old Antetokounmpo is an NBA champion, a finals MVP, two-time league MVP, and defensive player of the year. He's a five-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA selection, and four-time All-Defensive team member. He joined Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon as the only players in history with an MVP, finals MVP, and defensive player of the year award to their names. Yet he remained so authentically Giannis. He may no longer be the wide-eyed kid mesmerized by the simple beauty of a smoothie. Well, actually... So can I, can I have, please, a 50-piece, okay. not 51, not 49, <laughs> chicken minis, yes, 50. And um, let me have a large drink, no ice, half Sprite, half lemonade. Thank you. But his basketball stardom and international fame haven't eroded his humility. When you focus on the past, that's your ego. I did this. You know, um, we were able to, you know, um, beat this team for all. We, we did. I did this in the past. I won that in the past. And when I focus in the future, it's my pride. Like, yeah, next game, game five, I do this and this and this. Right. You know, I'm going down. And that's your pride talking. Like, you, it doesn't happen. Like, you're right here. And um, I kind of like try to focus in the, you know, in the moment, in the present. And that's humility. That's being humble. While becoming arguably the planet's best baller, he also mastered the English language to the point where he's giving out free philosophy lessons in what's not his first language. No matter where life's taken, or what language he's speaking, Antetokounmpo has never forgotten where he comes from or the humble beginnings that molded him. When he says he doesn't care about being the face of the NBA, you get the feeling it's not just lip service. Whether it matters to him or not, there have been few ambassadors in NBA history worthy of being the face of the league quite like Giannis Antetokounmpo. Heck, if he continues on this pace, his face might end up on basketball Mount Rushmore. All these guys that are legends, the number retired, maybe in 15 years, 20 years, maybe my number is up there in the next career. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that, Giannis. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.